Hello. In today's uh, short video here, I want to look at topic choice for master's level dissertations. Now, I want to be clear here, I'm not going to look at uh, writing the title. I'm looking at selecting the topic for research. Title writing will be the subject of a different video. Uh, basically, I want to go through this in three steps. First of all, how can we generate ideas? Secondly, how can we focus those ideas to a master's level type research? And uh, third, what are we going to do moving forward? Now, at master's level for your dissertation, um, this is probably uh, the second time you're going to be setting your own assignments, the first time being your bachelor's uh, project. You're going to be writing your own question that you're going to research. But are you? Uh, in some institutions, they provide, uh, the academics provide a list of projects that they want researched. So go and find out if there is such a list. Um, talk to your tutors, you know, what is their area of interest. However, wouldn't it look um, better for you as a motivated student to actually approach academics and say, I would like to research this topic, please? So how do you get a, an idea? Uh, well, first, first of all, I think that your master's dissertation should be your primary weapon in getting a job. So think about what job and what career you want to do. Uh, if you want to work in telecommunications, write your dissertation about telecommunications. If you want to write, work in automotive or construction or oil industry, there's your topics. Um, but particularly, you might want to work in project management in telecommunications, or you might want to work in human resources in the automotive industry. So think about what you want to do as a career, and then you can take your completed dissertation along to interview saying, look, this is what I've done on this topic. Think about the companies that you want to work for. If your ambition is to work for Ford or Shanghai Automotive or a particular oil company, then do some study into them and their competitors, and then that's going to give you an advantage at the interview stage. So generate the ideas from trying to get a job. The next thing is um, you're studying a particular course. It could be manufacturing or quality or management or project management. Sometimes the requirements of the course are that your dissertation is on the same subject. Um, not always the case. I, I supervise for two different institutions. Uh, one is um, absolutely clear. Your dissertation uh, will be a fail if it does not cover the same topic as your course choice. And the other one's far more relaxed. As long as you've done a master's level dissertation, then what course you're doing um, isn't so important. So uh, relate your course. Have a look at your course modules and try and find the different ideas and case studies that are being presented to you in the lectures and the seminars. And this might give you an idea of something that you're interested in. And when you've got that sort of topic, maybe a case study or an example, start to ask questions about, well, who's involved in this? Who's been affected by this? Uh, and am I interested in looking at an alternative who is affected? Uh, what, what are the issues with this? Is it new technology? Is it IT? Is it leadership? And can I take that issue and look at some other situation uh, and look at the same issue? When was this case study? If it's five or ten years old, has the problem been solved? Uh, you might want to readdress and have another look at that company. Uh, you might want to take the issues in that older case study and see if they apply in a different company in today's environment. Where is this case study? Is it in a particular country? Nigeria, India, China, UK? Or is it in a European or an American setting? Or is it worldwide? You might want to take the idea there and say, well, actually, I want to look at this case study, which was looking at IT problems in a Chinese situation and you want to say, well, I want to look at that in a Nigerian situation, for instance. Now, think also about your personal strengths and weaknesses. Um, it could be that you are an expert at computers. You love using Word and Excel. You're fascinated by statistics. So it could well be that you're going to use those strengths to do quantitative analysis for your research project. 
And in that case, you might want to start thinking about, well, what area might I be able to collect the required data? It could be that you love meeting people and you might decide that interviews are going to be your research methodology. So, you know, how are you going to get access to people to interview for the research topic that you've chosen? So think about this whole picture of, about what research methods you might use when you're thinking about the topic. Uh, more about research methods, a uh, different video. Think about where you work or where you have worked. It could be you could approach a previous employer because you want to go back and work there perhaps and say, well, is there an area of research that you would like me to undertake? It could be if you're a part-time student, your fees are being actually funded by your company. Now they will have a clear interest in getting something back, asking you to research in a particular area. OK, so assuming we've generated some ideas for research, how do we focus in and um, get this more at a master's level? Well, mind mapping and concept mapping are two uh, ways uh, of creating pictures. They're pict pictorial views to help you expand your ideas. Uh, for instance, if uh, we're doing some sort of construction management degree, master's level, uh, and we want to work in the construction industry, well, we can do a mind map that starts with construction in the middle, and we could then start to expand, well, that's about buildings, and buildings are about residential or commercial or um, utilities of flats, homes, tower blocks. Um, but construction is also about transportation. Well, that's about road and rail and light rail and high speed rail. There's different materials in construction, wood, brick, steel, in different formats, uh, sheets and girders. Different equipment used in construction different machinery, different types of diggers and cranes, different resources, different scaffolding techniques, different methods, different resourcing in construction projects. Um, is everybody working in-house? Are we going to look at contracts? How are contracts management? What type of contracts? So very soon from an idea of I want a topic on construction, we can expand this into a myriad of different ideas that might then say, well, actually, yes, this, this starts to come in. I want my research to be on the use of different contracting methods in constructing large scale transportation projects. Now, what we can also do is we can start to narrow and funnel down our ideas. Um, so, for instance, construction is a huge topic. We could narrow that down to residential housing and we might end up with absolutely being very specific, I want to look at the environmental impact on rural detached houses costing more than a million pounds. Now, this isn't our project title, but this is narrowing down a construction type situation into something far more specific, which will be required at master's level. Now, of course, um, we don't want this to be too big. Construction management and investigation into construction management is just too broad. But uh, equally, something that's too narrow or where you're unable to collect the data is going to be an impossible research topic. So do consider um, something that's um, in, in the middle there. Finally, as we're focusing the ideas, consider the ethics and the ethical aspects of your research. Um, there's going to be a, a uh, an allowance for privacy for anybody you interview and confidentiality. And make sure you don't choose something that is going to be biased. You know, if you if your title ends up being a look at the problems involved in or the, or an investigation into the failure of this is this is not going to be a good start for your research because it's biased. Um, you've got to be careful if you're going to select a topic area that could cause you ethical problems. So finally, what you do next, um, we've generated some ideas. We try to focus them with um, concept maps or mind maps. We try to narrow it down into something specific. What do we do now? Well, talk to your lecturers, talk to your supervisors, talk to your friends, family. Have a look, um, take that idea and bounce it around people, see what they think. And actually start looking for some literature on the topic because this is the start of your literature review, which is going to be required for your investigations. 
when you start looking at the journal articles and the books and the publications regarding your research topic, it's going to help you generate an idea. So that's an idea about how to generate uh, research topics for your master's dissertation. Separate video, it's going to look at how you actually write the title. Thank you for watching.